how to improve SEO of a WooCommerce site. In this video session, I'm going to share with you tips and insights that will help your website to get better results from Google if you're operating WooCommerce on a WordPress. Yeah, you know what? I've created an absolutely free WooCommerce course, right? And I thought, you know what? Since I specialize in search engine optimization, I best create this video and share with you tips and insights that will help you to get better results for your WooCommerce store. And it works like this. It doesn't matter what type of e-commerce store you're running on WooCommerce. Now, for me to be able to create that freely available course, I installed WordPress on Rankia. Okay. And I know by optimizing my valued client's websites, which were built on WooCommerce, it is always cumbersome for you to be able to rank your product URLs easily in Google. Because on your product URLs, your main focus is to get your visitors to buy something from you. Correct? That's the ultimate objective. If that's the case, you can't really you know, rank for these if you have products in a competitive industry, so to speak. And I am more than certain that you have. So when you edit your products, SEO tips for WooCommerce would be, you know what? Categorize your WordPress site thoroughly, meaningfully. That means when your visitors visit your WooCommerce store, by just looking at the product URL, can they understand what's on that URL? Because that will also help search engines like Google to understand your product URLs as well. Also, this will take a bit of practice on your part. But the best SEO insight that I can share with you is this. Depending on the type of product that you have, whatever you do, try your very best to make the product description the textual information as unique as possible. Now, let's imagine you're running an affiliate WooCommerce store. That means you're selling someone else's product. If that's the case, you would be getting the product description from external sources. But then if your product URLs and the contents within these pages are not unique, then how can Google rank these URLs? It can't. It won't. So your job, although, you know what, some product description, if you have the products um, someone else is selling as well, then perhaps features of the product will be the same, but it is still your job to make the textual content unique as possible without, you know, overdoing it by including a lot of keywords, because some SEO idiot has said to you, you have to use a lot of keywords. Make sense? Your product URLs, you can only do certain things in terms of SEO. Because as I've said, ideally, your ultimate objective on product URLs on WooCommerce is to sell. You want your visitors to add the cart. That means in this sample example, if I want to rank for such keywords, HTML sitemap with structured data, if I want to rank this URL and these keywords, then you know what? Perhaps I could create textual content that's worth four to 500 words. But if I do that, you know what? Will the visitors visiting this product page, will they read through all that? They won't. As I have relayed some SEO tips and insights in this freely available course by Rankia, so I'm going to upload it to YouTube. But as I've said in that video tutorial, focus on conversions on product pages. That means what else you can do is you create blog posts and then link towards your money-making pages. 
because it may be easier for you to rank your blog posts on WooCommerce site and then within that blog post do your best to direct people to your product pages furthermore within those product uh, within those blog posts when you link let's say I want to link to this let's say I want to target these keywords I want to rank in Google that means on the product URLs I have focused on conversions that's what you should be doing main objective here is conversions surely include include some keywords make him flow within the content communication that means as you can see WordPress plugin structured data these keywords will reinforce the relevance of the main target keywords for your product pages so then if I think to myself you know what that particular product is very popular on internet and I have a lot of competition then I may say okay you know what I can perhaps create something like this how structured data helps websites or WordPress sites so now I can create content accordingly perhaps even target long tail keywords and within this blog post I would then link towards my product pages okay this is rank your SEO trade secret you've just learned because for a WooCommerce site this will definitely be useful and in fact it will be perhaps one of the only ways for you to rank your product URLs following this method furthermore you're basically hitting two birds with one stone because if you target long tail keywords through your blog posts keywords that also is related to the products that you're showcasing on your WooCommerce store then you're bringing in free website traffic for different keywords through your blog posts and then you're also boosting the relevance of your product URLs because you're linking out and if you continue doing this as in if you continue blogging you know make blogging part of what you do it doesn't matter what type of website that you have it doesn't matter what type of industry you're competing in blogging is a must not necessarily to target long tail keywords but to also rank your product URLs make sense so that is how you improve the SEO of a WooCommerce site make sense surely you follow all the other search engine optimization best practices and if anything and if you think you know what I'm managing my own WooCommerce store I want to really dive deeper and truly optimize my WooCommerce store then perhaps you know even if you've published your WooCommerce store check out the freely available course on rank your YouTube channel also check out the SEO course because here I share with you easy to use methods but when you follow these insights basically there is no way you can't get higher rankings and I actually have money-back guarantee all you need to do is follow the instructions step by step then your WordPress site or any website really including WooCommerce in terms of SEO because SEO is just search engine optimization right what you want is you want website traffic yes you want that I want that everyone else wants that but on our WooCommerce store we want higher conversions as well so we need to take care of both so to speak okay so ideally you create content on product URLs for higher conversions and don't just think you know what I have to really really optimize my product URLs and I must focus on SEO only not on product URLs and another avenue which is rank your trade secret for you is that 
blog related keywords and then in turn link towards your product URLs. Because I can explain the benefits in many, many different ways as to following this approach. But all you need to do is just take on the advice and I promise you within very short time, you'll improve the SEO of your product URLs because you'll be ranking. Make sense? So on a given URL, whether it's a WooCommerce product URL, whether it is a blog post, and remember, I also have freely available course as well, SEO course. Now let's imagine I want to target certain keywords within a blog post, right? That means the SEO principles are the same. It doesn't matter what type of website that we have. It doesn't matter what keywords we're targeting. Blog posts, we optimize them to our best ability as detailed by Rankia. Easy methods, right? Next step, because it's WooCommerce we're talking about here, Say, okay, on product URLs, I follow the same approach. That means use intelligent keywords for your product URLs, optimize the product description, um, you know, mainly focusing on conversions, but surely you can add related keywords and make them flow within your communication. If you're using long descriptions as well, perhaps, you know, describe the product you're selling, but do so use some related keywords without overdoing it. Once again, product URLs must be focused on higher conversions, not just SEO. All you can do on WooCommerce product URLs is you follow the best practices for SEO. And then the next step of getting higher rankings for product URLs is you must blog and then in turn link towards your product URLs. And if you follow this method, then within two, three months later, you'll be ranking your product URLs as well in Google, but you'll also be ranking your blog posts. So that is how you improve the SEO of a WooCommerce site. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia. If you haven't subscribed, then definitely check out Rankia YouTube channel and if you think, you know what, you're an intelligent online business owner, then invest in a premium course that I've created for today's Google world. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.